These dogs know your secrets. Enjoy the video. What's an industry secret in the field you work in? Auto insurance agent. Please, for the love of God, don't tell auto insurance agents more than you have to. They ask you a question. Just say yes or no and answer the question as straight as you can. If you go on and on about your life story, you will probably end up saying something you don't have to and making your rate higher or getting yourself declined. We want to get you that policy as cheap as possible. Only tell us what we need to know and don't say anything else. <laughs> Said no to most of my questions on life insurance policy. Agent stated it looks more like I need to get a life policy. I think they have to pay out now because he killed you right there. He didn't have fire insurance to cover that sick burn. In Microsoft Office, Word specifically, you can upload recorded interviews and it will transcribe it and ever have speaker 1 and speaker 2, 3, and 4. Basically, eliminating a huge annoying part of the job. Wah? But? But how? Go to home, dictate drop down, transcribe, select upload audio, choose an audio file from the file picker, Transcribe currently supports WAV, MP4, M4A, MP3 formats. The fruits and veggies you buy at the grocery store, wash them. There are people that don't wash fruit and vegetables from the store before eating them. Also, I highly recommend not putting something you intend to eat directly on the conveyor belt at the register. That thing is not necessarily sanitary. People put money and sneeze on it all the time. I work in a grocery store and never put food directly on the belt. Same with clothes. I used to work retail in bit the ladies wear and home linen department and there have definitely been bugs and rats scurrying across your 1200 DC Egyptian cotton sheets. <laughs> knowing how to research the answer to a question is at least as or even more useful than knowing the answer to begin with. I made a living in IT for a decade with that mindset. I don't know any programming languages, but I know how to translate. It's worked so far. I'm a musician. It's not really a secret, but 90% of our revenue is for merch. Spotify plays, show guarantees, etc. Everything is menial in comparison to shirt sales. In fact, a big reason bands tour as often as possible is because we can sell more shirts when we are in front of people. I'm a dentist. Here's a lowdown on toothpaste. As long as it has fluoride they are all basically the same. When I was in dental school the Colgate lady came by and said that everything that says Colgate total on it is all exactly the same. The only difference is the packaging. So whether it says whitening or gum protection or whatever else it is all exactly the same. The exception is sensitivity toothpaste typically does have an extra active ingredient. No 3 which helps with sensitivity. Don't ever feel obligated to buy the expensive toothpaste because you think it will be better for your teeth. Just buy whatever you like best. <laughs> Library worker here. The majority of donations we receive do not end up in circulation on our shelves. No matter how much you demand we put them there once they are donated. The reason why this is is because we only add items to the collection that we think will circulate, be checked out. Most libraries get funding based off of statistics. We don't want to waste shelf space on items that PR aren't checking out as it won't improve our stats. So, unless the donated items are brand new or by popular authors we will not add them to the collection. We will also weed unpopular items from our collection with extreme prejudice for this reason, much to our patrons horror. These books usually end up being sold at book sales to help generate funding for other library programs. As a beginner counselor I worked with a lot of children and adolescents. Consistently the discussion with my colleagues was how it was the parents who were the biggest problem and the kids were just adapting to a crazy environment. Oftentimes I wonder how a patient got to be a certain way and then I meet their parents. My psychiatrist. Not an industry I work in per se, but I used to be in a sales role. One of my customers was a milk bottling plant. I was somewhat surprised that they were putting the exact same milk in both organic and non-organic cartons. Turns out all of their milk is organic, but in order to not miss out on the sales of non-organic milk, they just bottle them differently and sell them at different prices. <laughs> Former industry, commercial radio. It's never caller 5. It's the caller who sounds best on air. I won something on the radio once. The lady DJ called me back on a few minutes. She forgot to record the call. 
She told me to act excited. It was hilarious. She blamed it on being pregnant. Said she had lost her mind. You'd be surprised how willingly someone will do their job and even go above and beyond if you just compliment them for their professionalism, politeness and how they are helping them. As a cashier, I'm not even ashamed to admit that I will do more for you if you tell me I'm being helpful. Used to screen resumes for small companies. Job requirements are more of a wishlist situation. Never let some unchecked boxes deter you from applying. You have no idea what the applicant pool is like. The biggest boon, especially at small companies, is someone who legitimately cares. Literally got a job last week that I was unqualified for. I said, duck it, I'm running out of places to apply, let's give it a shot. Couple days later they replied, set up an interview, and I somehow have a job tomorrow morning during a pandemic. Just go for it, can't hurt you. Construction boy here. If your windows or sliding doors are tough to open and close, 9 times out of 10, we put your own dish soap on tracks and the thing works perfectly. It take 5 minutes, and we charge 150. Dish soap people, it's better than WD-40 sometimes. A lot of successful artists at a certain level of success do nothing more than create a concept and employ several assistants, who are either current or graduating art students, who actually make the art itself, its reproductions or both. Can 100% vouch for this. I make about the salary of a teacher, less, creating artwork every day for a recognized contemporary sculptor, who then picks up the work from me at the studio, and then sells what I made for hundreds of thousands. But hey man, his idea, industry norms. If you order a pizza, but like to choose your own toppings, it's often cheaper to choose an existing pizza like a meat supreme or something with loads of toppings, then swap out all the toppings for ones you want, than to go for the create your own option in the menu. Note, this is much less awkward if you order online than on the phone. As a former TSA worker airport security is out of theater. TSA is constantly failing plain cloths inspections. I worked with a guy who got fired because someone showed him an ID with a picture of Mickey Mouse on it and he let the person through because he wasn't paying attention. I too work in aviation. TSA is tested by something called red teams. They basically try to get things past security. Their success rate is in the 90% range. Firefighters are trained on several areas and can specialize deeper into certain disciplines. Most of the emergencies we get called to are situations we have never been trained on, but with four of us on a fire truck we can normally figure out a solution. In my county, a girl got stuck in a clothes washer. I wasn't on the call, but there's a video of it online. I remember doing car extrication in the academy, but not washer extrication. Oh step firefighter bro. Weight loss industry. This might be obvious, but most of our business comes from return clients after they've gained their weight back, and then some. To be clear, the plan isn't rigged to make you gain it back, but the fact that it happens easily as a result of dieting keeps us in business. This is why weight loss is so hard. Gotta change your lifestyle permanently, not just for a few months. A lot of librarians will waive your fines if you have an excuse and you don't ask too frequently, even large fines. Also, librarians don't care about your fines and aren't judging you. Please come back. We personally have more fines than you. Librarians are always overdue with their books. Teacher, the parents are more of a hassle than the students. I doubt that is a secret, but there it is. I know a few teachers and this seems to be a pretty common view. One said 30% of his job is teaching. 30% is unnecessary school admin, and 40% is dealing with parents who think their spoiled little shut is a victim of some conspiracy. Former Bath and Body Works associate here. The scent they discontinue will come back with a different name and new marketing. They are just recycling the scents. A huge portion of online reviews, ratings, social media presence, etc. that you see for any given company are fake paid for, or done by multiple accounts controlled by us. This includes a company's glass door page, fake reviews about how great it is to work there, so that the million negative reviews don't crush their page. I'm not saying it's every company out there, but it's been a lot of the ones I've worked for. Source, am copywriter. What are ethics? I surely don't know anymore. 
dress codes and other rules bouncers tell you at the door are usually made up on the fly. We are just telling you all diplomatic like that you look like shut and all that you look poor. Or you look like you'd scare women away from the bar slash club which basically means you'd cause the club to lose money. In Russia, there is a harsher version called face control. I'm a fossil replicator and apparently the industry secret is the fact that we exist. So many people are blown away to learn that most fossils they see in museums are replicas. Not a fossil, but I remember the museum where I grew up had a replica of the world's largest piece of fool's gold. Not a replica of the world's largest piece of gold. Not the actual largest piece of fool's gold. A worthless copy of a worthless piece of iron be right. Fool's fool's gold. The McDonald's ice cream machine isn't broken, the duckers were just too lazy to clean it, or more likely, none of the people working, that they know how. It's a bitch and takes like 4 hours. It shuts off, and makes you clean it, so rest assured it's gonna be clean. Just not when you need it. McDonald's should have a flag that is up, if the ice cream machine is working, and half mast, if it's not working. Not really a secret, but some wholesale nurseries will sell plants for a fraction less than public nurseries and big box retailers. Like one gallon of a shrub will sell for $16 at Home Depot, but at a wholesale nursery that same plant will cost like $2 to $6. If in doubt, lubricate. I'm a machinist. If in doubt, tighten all the screws and bolts. I maintain heavy machinery. I'm a teacher. If you as a parent will read with your child often and early, your child will thrive in school. I'm talking daily books read together from newborn to about third grade. Every single day. No teacher can replace that. This should be pretty obvious. But for big brand hotels, if you try to sneak above the hotel and call the corporate customer care line to demand compensation slash complain, that customer care line will always call the hotel for the full story and not just blindly give compensation. Federal HR here, if you put the words from the vacancy announcement about what you need to qualify in your resume you'll almost always be qualified. We search for those words instead of reading an entire resume. I wonder if companies with 100s of resumes would get better hires from taking 50 and reading them carefully, rather than putting 500 through an automated process. Well first of all what you do is take half the pile and throw it in the trash. You don't want unlucky people working for you anyway. I work in logistics for a massive manufacturing company. Mun is not duck in real. $1000 for 8 light bulbs. I work in medical devices. I can agree. The numbers are all made up. Whatever it should cost. Add 2 zeros. Now you know what list is. Cut 40% off that, and that's what a big hospital chain pays, but a little hospital only gets 20% off. Do that a couple of million times a year and you have the tens of billions of dollars in revenue a medical devices company makes. When it comes to retail, if your night crew, day crew just ducks around all day and doesn't get anything done, leaving all of the work for you. If your day crew, night crew just ducks around all night and doesn't get anything done, leaving all of the work for you. This isn't just retail. I feel this in my hospital job too. Nobody uses bots to inflate metrics more than the most major players in the entertainment industry. All the numbers are fake, including sales. It costs about $200,000 to put your own book on the top of the New York Times bestseller list. All you have to do is buy a lot of copies yourself. And if that bestseller status helps you sell more books, you can make that $200,000 back by selling the big stock of books you've collected. Scientists, we disagree with one another a lot more often than the media would often lead you to believe. The reason we are good at our jobs though is that, ideally, we like disagreeing with each other and we are able to move on when proven wrong. It's a part of the job. Former aircraft fueler. Don't check your pets in kennels. Especially in summer or winter. They are submitted to some very harsh environments. Left on belt loaders in the sweltering heat right next to a running apu that's loud enough to deafen human ears, let alone a dog's. It's terrible. I always feel so sorry for them. American Airlines will destroy your luggage. They get overloaded on carts, fall off on the way to the plane, and are left there to get run over by tankers and yes, fuelers, and rained on then drag to the edge of the ramp to sit all night while you arrive at your destination and wonder where the hell your bags are. 
If your departure is delayed, 90% of the time it's us, the fueler. Look out the window to the right side, if it's a small plane, left side if it's a really big plane. If there's a truck sitting under the wing, we're the reason you're late. Sorry. I know a lot of people get annoyed when a store employee pushes the credit card, but at the kids clothing store I worked at, if you didn't get at least x amount per day they cut our hours. I wasn't pushing you a shutty credit card, to be in a hole, I was scared to lose my hours. If you're someone who purchases bulk nuts, grains, etc. Just know that those beans are probably rarely cleaned, and even when they are cleaned, odds are they were just rinsed out slash wiped down to look clean. I used to be a bulk buyer at Whole Foods Market, and when I took over our bulk department had no cleaning logs or sanitizing procedure. The bins had moths slash insect colonies and mold in them. Our store was opened nearly 5 years prior. If there's a lot of IT problems and your IT people look like they're working their asses off, it's because they don't know what they're doing. If things are smooth and it looks like your IT people don't do shut, it's because they know exactly what they're doing. People mostly already know the answers to their problems, they just need to hear it from an outside source to be able to convince themselves to do something about it. The cheapest bottle of wine in the restaurant has the biggest markup. And your $6 glass of sangria might actually just be boxed wine with some fruit in it. Management hates IT. They don't generate revenue. Maintenance as well. Same job, really, just different types of machines. And it's crazy how little they even notice me considering how much the equipment I take care of is worth. I'm not training your dog, I'm training you. Then why don't I get a treat?